Hi everyone. In Angular, now we'll talk about template-driven forms. So first we'll discuss what is template-driven forms and when we should use them. After that, uh, we will make a form and we'll define some input fields uh, within that form. Uh, and then we will get the input field values with the help of template-driven form. And at last, we'll discuss some important interview questions also. This is the playlist for Angular 19 tutorial that will definitely help you out for Angular job project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. And before starting with the uh, question, first question, let me show you a demo uh, so that you can get some idea like what we will achieve in this part at last actually. So here you can see that we have a template driven form. Uh, maybe from UI you cannot guess uh, like this is a template driven form or reactive form, but uh, this is the uh, template driven form and uh, just after de this demo we'll start working on this i'll just do this code from scratch so uh, we'll define some input fields after that let's say i'm putting some value adding some password uh, selecting gender then selecting some range i can any range and if i just click on the add user you can see that all details are here as well as this detail is printed on the ui also that will achieve in this part with the help of template driven form now the first question, what is template driven form? See, in template driven form, all input fields are controlled by the template file. So, we have two files uh, in Angular, uh, in every component, actually four files. First one is CSS for style, uh, another one is for testing, and one file with .html, this is a template file, and another file is component.ts, so this is the component file. So, the template driven form always controlled by the template file, means .html file, and the reactive uh, forms are always controlled by the component.ts file. Alright, so let me remove all of this code. Okay, now one more question. When we should use template driven form? When you are making very small and simple forms, uh, for example, for email subscription, maybe for login, and if you have three, four, five input fields with the very simple validation, that time uh, template driven forms are preferred. And if you have the complex uh, forms, complex data handling, validation, and all, that time you can use reactive forms. All right, so now let's back to the, uh, you can say that uh, code and let me remove all of this code, right? Because we'll make it from scratch and let's remove this function also. We don't need this form module. We'll just choose it. We will define it from scratch. And now let's come back, back here. So now we have just a simple heading line. So now let's uh, go with the second step, make a form and define some input fields. So in the app.component.html file, let's make a form and you don't need to define get and post. That is perfectly fine if you are not defining. Then let me take some input fields inside this. And first one is placeholder. With a placeholder, let's put some text. Let's say enter name. Then you can define the name also and name of this field. You can put anything username name. So let me use it name only. Now let me define two more field, one for password, yeah password is fine, right, and type should be the password only. Now they are in the same line, to just make some gap, I'll use their br tag, better if you want to use, if you want to make space and line break with the help of CSS, right. Okay, so then after that, let me use a select, and we don't need id better we can use their name and name let's say gender and yeah then let's define three options first one with the select gender then there should be two more fields another one is male then female right and uh, last one is range placeholder uh, okay so with the range there is no placeholder don't need it let's make it range only and then name is let's say range that is fine and okay so let's add the br tags also to make some space and at last one let's add button and button text will be add details or add user or something right 
and again we need two more b attacks here okay so after making this uh in the template driven form you have to import a form module here right and inside the app.component.html you have to define the name of uh, this form with the hash so let me put there user form and then ng form and then we can say that ng submit and uh, then login login form uh, that will make a function but there let's make a function first try right? to login or maybe if you want to just keep it a uh, user form or uh, 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 add user will be better better add user right okay so define this function there add user and we'll get some value from there value and the type of this value either you can use any or either you can use ng form and there i will make a console and that will be the val right and now you have to yeah this function is already called there right now if i okay it should be one parameter there so what will parameter will be there this forms value so uh, user value dot user form dot value if i click i just add some detail then selecting gender clicking on the add detail here you can see that we are getting nothing reason being if you want to use the ng uh, if you want to use the template driven form then with each of the field you have to mention their ng model this ng model will bind these input fields value with the form uh, yeah this is the second one third and here we go for last now let me add details again then mail some range and if i just click over, over there you can see that all details are here perfect now next thing let's say you want to show these details on the ui just take any property user data and type will be let's say ng form right and uh, yeah ng form or uh, null let me see if we can do that mm, yeah there we have to use pipe perfect now you can see that this dot user detail is well because well has the user form data type of data okay now if you want to display all the information here just use their h3 tag double curly braces uh, user uh, data user data dot name because this field we have the name right and same we are we were getting there and don't forget to put the question mark because maybe uh, the user data is null right so just do three more time password last one is gender and the another last one is uh mm, 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 range yeah so password does not exist in type ng form line number 20 let me see password it should be there mm. okay so better what we can do you can yeah you use there any rather than the form ng form you can use the any for now right i'll give you the another solution also but for now just use there any and uh, now if i just select name and some password and there don't forget to put their password enter password right uh, anil some password mail and here we are clicking every details is there so that's all for this part if you have any query any doubt you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this part and uh, this is my paytm and gp donation number and you can please support me by subscribe like and com uh, comment on the video thanks everyone